You may recall discussing the stack in a previous video. Today, we will be discussing another container that can be used to store data, but with different properties, called the queue. Remember, when data was stored in a simple container, data was not retrieved in any specific order. And, when data was stored in a stack, data was popped in the reverse order that it was pushed. Now, we will consider a new type of container. Again, I will place our four pieces of data into this container, in order. Here's ball one. Ball number two. Ball number three. And ball number four. Now, let's retrieve our data and see how our new container impacted things. I've retrieved ball number one. For the second piece of data, I've retrieved number two. Then, number three. And finally, number four. Before I show you the new container, take a minute to imagine what you think the container looks like. In this example, I use a structured container with two open ends, one to add data, and one to retrieve data. This stores data in what we call a queue. Data is added from one end. When we put data into one end of the queue, we call this process enqueuing. The data is then stored in the order it was entered until it is retrieved from the other end of the queue. This process of retrieving data from a queue is called dequeuing. This is also known as first in, first out, because the first element to be enqueued, or inserted, is the first element to be dequeued, or retrieved. Using a queue, data can now be stored and retrieved in the same order. Queues are very useful when storing data because we can remember the order in which we stored them in. This is a building block in coming up with many solutions in computing science. In class, we will discuss many examples of how the queue can help us elegantly solve common problems.